how was, how was the first couple of days you guys had off? How was that mentally for you guys? Great. So it refreshed at all, you guys? Um, uh, Scoot, Norm, uh, you know, how, how are some of those guys doing with the injuries they've had? They're packed today. They're packed today, so they should be ready to go tomorrow. Kevin, uh, Scoot f fully packed today? Yes. Um, w w with Kawhi, I, I mean, where is he in his progress? I know you said he's progressing, but what has he been able to do uh, on the court? Just uh, be on the court, shooting, going some plays and stuff like that. I know you guys mentioned that you you would hope that he'd be ready uh, right now. You also said you didn't expect so him to be. Everyone, I'm sorry. A lot of folks mentioned, you know, you, Kawhi also mentioned they, he wanted to be ready for opening night. You also said you didn't really expect him to be out without him for this long. So what's really keeping him from being where you want him to be at this stage? He has to do all the things. He's, he's got to check all the boxes and do all the right things, not skip any steps. And so when he completes that, then we'll move on. So How many just boxes is today? I don't know. He's just out. Kawhi didn't practice today, but did no. individual stuff. No, he didn't practice. He's out. But he's just doing individual shooting stuff still? Yeah. Got it. Thank you. Yeah. What are the boxes you want him to check? To get 100%. Get 100%. Like, okay. I'm not a medical. No, no, I don't no, know. Yeah. Like, you know, I'm, I'm not in there lifting him and doing all that. Like, he's out. He's getting better, he's on the floor, he's doing stuff, right, he's okay. not ready to play. Okay, all right, yeah. then, then. Thank you. I have a question about Kawhi, too. Yes, this one ahead. dude reported that he'll be available before Christmas. Is what? He'll be available before Christmas. I don't know. He didn't say Christmas 2026, but he didn't say Christmas <laughs> yeah, 20, so you don't know about that. No. So Who said that? Bill Simmons. Oh, really? He says it's inside Clipper guy, so I thought that might be you, the inside Clipper guy. I put my name on it. So, so will he be ready? I'm never a source. He, you know, you're an accurate source. Right? You're, you are the source that's accurate. With my name on it. Your name on name on this. Will he be ready by Christmas? I don't know. Okay, then go to answer. How you doing today? Doing good. How was Las Vegas? It was great. Are you feeling more refreshed right now? Yes, I want to go back. <laughs> you can go next week. You want to play three games over the next ten days. We'll see. How strange is that to go from playing all those games to now Three games over, what, eight, nine days, something like that? Three games over 14 days. So you're good with that? Uh, we need it right now. Um, just to practice time, um, guys are good healthy. Um, so it's actually pretty good for us. So hopefully we can take advantage of it, you know, get better. And, um, you know, that time took away. And hopefully we can get Kawhi back one of these days. Right, one of these days. Yeah. No particular day? No. Obviously, the team looks different than it did in some ways when you guys were last in Houston, but reflecting on adjustments that you could make based on this specific team, which are the most important ones for tomorrow? Um, I think handling their pressure. I think they did a good job of you know, ball pressure. I think taking care of the basketball is going to be another thing. And then we got to get back in transition. We can't allow them to play in transition and get out and get easy basketball. Does the rest help specifically against like a young, fast team like Houston? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. They are fast, they're athletic, they play with pace, uh, they're really good defensively, and um, e has done a great job of just having to buy into his system and what he's doing, so um, they're playing really good basketball right now. Hey, how do you kind of segment these these two weeks here where you have three games, a lot of practice days after having so many games? How do you kind of segment these days off in practice? How do you segment them yet? Yeah. Like, do you have, you know, a day where it's more recovery, more, you know, you guys go hard? Yeah, we got a little bit of both recovery, you know, but I think we just got to um, start adding offensively, you know, getting better with that. Um, and then defensively, just, you know, making sure that we're understanding what we're supposed to do, you know. Um, we've had a lot of, not a lot, but we've had just slippage in our normal coverages, our foundation of our defense. And so, just getting back to the basics, and that's, that's going to happen if you don't practice, you know, we don't have the time to practice. So um, having these 14 days, you know, three games in 14 days, you know, just some time to practice and, you know, kind of fine tune what we're trying to do. So just to be clear, Norm and KP will be playing tomorrow? Norm and who? And Kevin Scoop. Porter. Okay, yeah. That's his nickname, Scoop? Scoop, yeah. What's his mother called? Scoop. What do you call it? Scoop. I'm calling it Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> I see you on it. Put that on the uh, sheet tomorrow. Scoot. Yeah. Um, how, how much easier does it make it now that you've had all these games and get to practice compared to when you had, you know, to practice all of October to build the foundation of the team that you brought? Like, how do you, like, what's it like to progress from that um, now that you've played so much? Um, we still, you know, we still have steps we need to take to get better. And so, you know, having this practice time and just reiterate, you know, things we can get better at and actually go through it on the floor and take time to 
you know, actually teach and let the guys understand what we're trying to do um, is very helpful. And so um, the schedule the way it was, it was hard to get practice time. And so now we can take advantage of it. Hopefully we can improve it. Do you watch any basketball in your days off? Like the yes. last two days, did you watch any basketball? No. no so you just like decompression for you? Yes. Does that help you mentally? It does. Uh, do you feel like you can get like, I guess, overworked in that sense? Like if you're just around basketball too much? I mean, it's my job. <laughs> you know, no, I, I know yeah, that, but I mean. But I mean, it's, I mean, if you play it every day or every other day, it's hard to really you know, not watch because you're preparing for the next team, preparing for the next game. Um, you got to watch the game you just played to see what you need to get better at um, and what gives you problems. So. Um, throughout the course, you know, this, what, 24 games, it's been hard to really catch other games, you know, um, without having to work or hope work yourself. So it's been tough. So now I can kind of lock into other teams and see what they're doing and um, have some time off really helps with that. Not just for your team, I would say for the whole league, how many games do you feel like it takes or how deep into the season do you feel like it takes to completely separate the identity that you think your team had a year ago to them feeling like they have a good enough sample size to what you think they would play like now? I think we know who we are now. I think um, it's been long enough and we play a certain style of basketball for, for 24 games and, you know, um, two and a half weeks of training camp. So I think we understand who we are. You know, we got to be a defensive minded team. we got to have a, a defensive intensity every single night and having that mindset. And so I thought we, I think we brought that you know, for the most part, the 24 games, and that's, that's who we are. Do you feel like that's the case for everybody in the league as well? Yeah. Like, I mean, it's different. You know, yeah. I mean, it's different because teams, different teams have different people out, you know, and so things are different, you know. So, um, we know when Kawhi comes back, he's a defensive line of guys regarding the basketball and play, you know, guard five different positions. So, um, for him coming into, you know, what we're doing here shouldn't be hard. It shouldn't be hard for him, you know, to get involved. Do, do you foresee, when Kawhi does come back, do you foresee him not having to take the defensive workload and burden as much because of guys like Derek and Chris and and, and, and thus keep him fresher on the offensive end? Yes, sir. How, how much does that impact the rest of the team when he's able to do stuff like that? Um, it's very impactful because now he's you know, focusing on scoring the basketball and not getting tired. And, you know, when he comes back, you know, what kind of shape is he going to be in? You know, so um, to have guys that can defend and do things – um, do the dirty work for Kawhi to be able to get um, to himself. You know, I think it helps out a lot. Thank you, Ty. Thank you. Offensively, you got to be in the right spot. Play with it a little bit, a little bit more pace and not be full. What makes Ty's practices different, like whether it's structurally or tone, compared to other systems you've been part of? Uh, I don't know. It's, it's different, though. Yeah, it's different I don't know. I come out here, I feel, feel good. Get some shots out. It's, I feel like it's already a very good practice. After playing all those games over the last two weeks or so, is it good to get a couple of days off to kind of recalibrate your bodies and everything else? Amazing. Is it? Amazing. <laughs> I mean, of course, through all the basketball games, then you get a little bit of soreness. The treatment, the proper treatment we have, and just, just making sure we're taking care of our bodies is always a, a main goal. So. Extra days is always always great. How about mentally? You know, I feel, I, I, mentally, I feel great. I'm good. Clear mind. I don't worry about nothing. Now you guys played three games in about eight days. That's a little different. So how do you keep the consistency going when you don't play as often anymore? Stay on the court. Have as much practice as we can. Be out here as much as we can to be be out here together. And run it through our plays. Whenever we can get a little live movement out there, be out there live, getting our, getting our, our principles down so we good. Before the season, Terrence was talking about how unusual it was to have a group of guys that got legitimately excited for defensive drills and practice. Has that maintained even to this point in the season as you guys have played so many games and now have a practice again today? Uh, yeah, I mean, we, we still, defensively, we're still going to be the same team. No matter what, we got to hang our hat defensively on that. And, I mean, offensively, it's going to come. We, we, got a, we got a bunch of skilled players out here. We got to, got to play our role the right way. But defense is always where we're going to hang our head. The team had two games in Houston early last month. Obviously, that was probably uh, the most difficult stretch of the season. Uh, what can y'all take from those two games? What the Rockets kind of challenge y'all with? What do you want to emphasize, uh, both individually as well as on the team level, being better at tomorrow? I feel like we didn't, we didn't play hard enough when we was down in Houston. Uh, 
that was partly on me too. I, I got I got a set the tone defensively. Uh, we into the ball a lot more. I feel like we just got set the tone out there defensively. We just gotta be out there into the ball and be ready from the from the jump. How do you guys approach so many practice days uh, after playing so many games uh, in a short period of time? Like, is it you guys go hard at some of them? Like, what, what are you guys doing in these practice days? Practice, I mean, it's, it's the same. We really don't. You got to go after it. You can't. You can't go out there and, and try to try to be timid and, and put one foot in, one foot out. It's not gonna work. You're not gonna get nothing out of it. So for us to get something out of it, we got to go out there and, and be locked in 100% and give it what we got. What does the holiday season look like in the Jones household? Crazy. <laughs> Crib is, 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 is too decorated. <laughs> I'm still waiting for some more inflatable <laughs> stuff to build outside for the kids. It is what it is, though. You know, I love the holidays, especially for my kids. You know, I, I get to see them, see them happy and just be around family. That's all, that's all it's about. Does your wife run point on decorating, or are you part of that? Hell uh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I, of course I help, but... She's a mom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She run that, she run that department. Okay, thank you. For sure. You guys, we'll go back to Dallas. I know it's a couple of weeks from here, but those two games, I guess, uh, looking forward to that, to that, you know, being back there, you had a career year there, obviously. Am I looking forward yeah. to it? Of course. I mean, I get to see my, my old teammates and old coaching staff. For me, it's just another game. I go out there and play the game how I'm supposed to play it. I don't really worry about old teams or new teams. I'm, I'm, I'm worried about the game in hand. I want to win, no matter who it is in front of me. I told y'all before, if my mom down there, I'm, I'm dunking on her. It don't matter. <laughs> She's going to get a stop on my mom, my grandma, my, my sisters, my sons. It don't matter. If I got a, if it's a game, I want to win. I ain't trying to lose. Dunking on your mom? <laughs> I ain't gonna say it again. <laughs> Mom's getting punched on. It is what it is. Man, your mom, well, after you get punched on her, you know what's coming next. She gonna get you at the yeah, house. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. <laughs> I, I gotta live with that. But sometimes you, you gotta, you gotta, you know, the results from from your actions. You gotta live with those. Yeah, yeah. And I have to live with that result. It is what it is. Well, when you when you play with a group like that, have that kind of a, a run, does that form any kind of special bond that kind of goes beyond just you know that one you you had there? Of course. I mean, those are my guys, for sure. But, I mean, things didn't work out, so I'm here. I see you still rock the Kyrie's. Uh, I'm an answer, and, I'm yeah, an okay. answer brand player, of course. That's my, that's my dude. And they're very comfortable, so. <laughs> y'all out there and y'all want some answers, go get them. For sure. Oh, oh too. For sure. So what are you going to do with all this time off? Rest. <laughs> Yeah, just get some rest. I feel like it's been a, a crazy schedule for us, so you know, just having some days off would be good for us. Get out your feet and you know, just do do whatever you need. Christmas shopping. Yeah, yeah. So do you get hyped when you see Kawhi out on the floor too, or is that just us? Yeah, of course. Um, you know, I, I know everybody's excited for him to be back. So you've seen like, him on the court uh, going through drills and whatnot. It's a, it's a good sign. So um, y'all are excited. We're excited. I feel like it's, uh, it's the same energy. What's you're it like you're when you actually get to have him on the bench, going through these games at home and everything? Like, he's there, and clearly he's in a good mood, but what's he telling you guys throughout the course of games and whatnot? Uh, I mean, just just showing the leadership off the court, uh, you know, helping us in whatever way he can, uh, telling us what he sees when we come off the court during timeouts, uh, you know, talking to our guys, and just giving advice what he sees. Does he sound more like a player or more like a coach? A little bit of both. A little bit of both. Is it a hard break for him to, when he does come back? Are you guys like anticipating this or are you just moving forward? Um, kind of just moving forward. Uh, you know, he's on whatever timetable he's on. Whenever he's uh, you know, feeling good enough to play, I'm sure he'll uh, you know, be excited to join us. We'll be excited to have him back. But um, kind of just pressing forward. Uh, and whatever that is, uh, you know, we'll, we'll be happy to have him. You got more dunks this year than all of last year, man. And that's like nearly a thousand minutes fewer like yeah. what do you why do you think that is i don't know <laughs> i really don't know i remember you said that to me a little while back yeah um just right right place right time that's all so you like dunking man. i can get up there a little bit yeah. <laughs> wait yeah. a thousand fewer minutes is not right place right time i guess i guess it's just working out yeah okay.
Are you, you making more, more of an effort to, to get paint touches yourself this year? Um, I won't. I won't say that. Really, just I know I say this a lot, but just taking what the defense gives me, um, I feel like um, I've been I've been shooting the ball pretty well. So they've uh, been running me off the line a little bit, so it's easier to get downhill, easier to um, you know get past that first pin. And, you know, whatever whatever decision I make after that, um, but I, I, I'm pretty sure that has a, a, you know a factor to playing. I'm shooting the ball, so teams are telling them to run me off the off the line. So just getting downhill. Um, Playing an opportunity feed in the game, and uh, yeah, just just making my decisions off that. Having said it, ha has the game slowed down for you now? Uh, I would say that. Okay. I I think it's just reps. Like, uh, you know, it's my sixth year. Um, I kind of just you know take for what it is. Uh, I feel like I got, got a lot, got a lot of reps in. Uh, and I'm just playing my game. Uh, you know, Ty Lu and, and the coaches have gives everybody the green light on offense. Uh, you know, so everybody's staying aggressive. Everybody's. Uh, to create for themselves and others. So um, I think that plays a big factor in uh, you know, just instilling confidence in the team. Um, you know, everybody's making plays. Everybody can bring the ball up. Everybody can, uh, you know, come off the ball screen, whatever it is. Um, you know, we have a, a coaching staff like that that is instilling that in you. It's, it's easy to just go out and make plays. What's that second game you need to do better against the Rockets uh, compared to y'all Houston trip last month? Rebound. Rebound for sure. Um, they, they send like five guys at the glass, so we need to finish possessions with rebounds. Um, I feel like in Houston, we uh, you know we were getting stops, but we just weren't finishing the possessions. So second chance points killed us. Um, and transition is big with them. They like they're young. They like to get out and run. Oh so, man, you you young man. Yeah, true. But they I'm, like to I'm get out and run. <laughs> they like to get out and run. Um, and, and send five to the glass. So. Just finishing possessions, um, getting, getting our defense set, and getting back. Thanks, Amir. Last one, yeah. You shot the three really well this year. Um, do you find yourself because of the high volume that you're shooting it at and the high efficiency that you're shooting it at that you're you're more <clears throat> confident in taking perhaps threes you wouldn't have normally taken before? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I'm I, I'm gonna try to get my shot off. Uh, I, f I feel confident in it. Um, it's been dropping so. If uh, you know if I can get it off, I'm gonna get it off, uh, and that's that's kind of what I was saying about the team running me off the line. So uh, whenever there's a opportunity, and I think I you know have a good enough shot, I'll take it. Uh, you know, and if not, I'll just get it to my other package when they run me off the line. Ty's been a big proponent of taking the the first best shot you guys can get. Yeah. Like does that like fit you well because of how well you're doing? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I feel like uh, you know on film we got a lot of possessions where. A guy pass up a shot, and then the possession to end up in a turnover or whatever it is. So, uh, you know, just taking our open shots uh, is, is the best possible outcome for us because a lot of the times when we pass those up, something bad happens after that. So, uh, yeah. Thanks, man. Yo, man.